My favorite stray cat. Rosie knows not to feed stray cats, even if they are cute. She isn't supposed to. As children begin to read on their own, they need lots of practice to get better. They need to be able to read words accurately, with expression, and at a good speed. Straws, tater tots, and corners of grilled cheese sandwiches. Sometimes parents think children should understand and remember everything in a story the first time they read it. But children often need to talk about a story or to read it several times to really understand it. To increase fluency, follow these three steps. First, before reading this story, ask questions to help your child focus on it. We have two cats, but they have home, huh? Have you seen a stray cat in the neighborhood? Second, read the story to your child and then help your child read the story to you. Third, after you read the story, ask your child questions about it. Here are some ways to help your child improve her reading fluency. The cat. The cat. <laughs> okay guys, now... Before reading a story, have children think about how it may connect to their own lives. One way to help children make connections is to ask questions. Do you know what a stray cat is? Yeah, it's a cat without a home. That's right. We have two cats, but they have home, huh? Yeah. Have you seen a stray cat in the neighborhood? No. No. Do you think Penny would feel bad for a stray cat? Yeah. Because she has a cushy place to sleep every night? Then have her read the story to see if there are things in it that she didn't know before. Rosie knows not to feed stray cats. Even if they are cute, she isn't supposed to. She can't give them tuna. She can't give them milk. She can't give them even a little cat food. Her mother says no. So Sit down with your child to read porch, My Favorite below, Stray Cat. cat. Sit next to your child so that both of you can see the story. Read the story out loud to her. Try to read with expression. Him, her math homework, but that is all. Point to the words as you read them. Read slowly enough that your child doesn't get lost or confused. <laughs> Let's say that word together. Ready? Exception. This helps her become familiar with the story and learn new words and how to pronounce them so that she can read smoothly. Nobody knows it, but Frankie is Rosie's cat. Then, if your child feels confident, have her read My Favorite Stray Cat out loud to you. You follow along quietly to notice how well she's doing and if she has difficulty with any particular words. This method works best with a story that your child is familiar with. But they were if she struggles, read the story together or take turns reading each sentence. You read a sentence, then your child reads the next sentence. The ground Frankie was waiting for her. That was my turn. No. <laughs> but that's okay. Like everyone else in town, Frankie was watching the fireworks. A shiny little... Skinny? A skinny little... Tabby, Tabby cat, cat with a tail that went whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. He, he liked the orange fireworks the best. Rosie whistled. She had just learned to whistle. And the cat came to say, hello. Hello, said Rosie. What is your name? The cat said nothing. Rosie would have to name him first name him herself. She thought about the 4th of July. She thought about the founding fathers. She remembered her favorite, ben her favorite, Benjamin Franklin. While her family watched the fireworks, Rosie held out the end of a hot dog bun. Frankie ate it right up. She offered a chip and Frankie ate that too. Finally for dessert she gave the cat half of her hot dog. Frankie meowed to say thanks. Rosie 
knew they would always be pals. Each day when she got home from school, Rosie would wait for Frankie to show up at four o'clock and give him whatever food she could find. About two weeks after school started, Frankie did not come to Rosie's house. Mom, look, mom, mom, look, Frankie's on the bus. I've got to get him, mom said. Mom said, just a minute, Rosie. The bus is about to leave. Let's follow the next, to it to the next bus stop. But he hopped on the bus on Monday, and he's been riding around with me ever since. The kids have been giving him food because we all think he's a stray. Will your parents let you take him home? Rosie was worried. What would her mother say? She ran back to the car and said, Mom, can we bring Frankie home with us? Mom smiled and said, only if he likes pizza. <laughs> the end. Good job, Anna. <laughs> That's pretty silly, huh? Yeah. What's your favorite part of the story? A good way to get your child to remember yeah. more about what she has read is to ask her questions that will get her to think more about the story. You can make up your own questions or ask some of the following. Questions like these help her think more about the meaning of the story. A lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. What was the silliest thing he ate? Um, the popsicle. Popsicle, that's pretty funny, huh? What, what do you think you would have felt when Frankie didn't show up on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday? I'm mm, sad. You've been sad, maybe worried? Yeah. What about when she saw him on the bus? What do you think she was feeling? Excited. Pretty excited, yeah. If you or your child gets tired, stop and come back to the story and activities on another day. The more your child enjoys reading and doing the activities, the more Each fluent in reading she will become. The same. Please note that you can use these same activities with another story or book. You can follow the same order of activities, or you can change the order or choose activities that you think will be most helpful and most fun for your child. I think it's very important to read with your child because everything they do in school hinges around reading in order for them to be able to learn concepts in every subject. They need to be able to read the material and understand what they're reading. I would tell them to read with their moms because it's fun. My favorite stray cat is the most advanced of the three tip sheets for improving children's fluency. If your child has difficulty with the activities in this tip sheet, we suggest that you ask for the first tip sheet on fluency, the two best cakes, or the second tip sheet, how many elephants would fit in a school bus, reading fluency number two. After trying the activities in those tip sheets, come back and try this tip sheet. If your child is having a hard time with these activities, talk to your child's teacher. There may be another tip sheet or other activities to help. If you enjoy these activities, tell your child's teacher too. The teacher may have more ideas to share for learning fun at home.